Hello, everyone. Welcome to Project Management. This is uh, the first lesson of this module. Project management is both people and technical oriented. It involves understanding the cause effect relationships and interactions among the social technical dimensions of projects. Improved competency in these dimensions will greatly enhance the project manager's competitive edge. The field of project management is growing very rapidly in importance and at an exponential rate. It is nearly impossible to Im imagine a future management career that does not include the management of projects. Uh, resumes of managers will soon be primarily a description of the individual's participation in and contributions to projects. Good luck on your study through this text and the module and on your future projects. This module series is based on Eric Larson and Clifford Gray's book, Project Management, the Managerial Process, chapter by chapter. You will find the content of this text highly practical, relevant, and contemporary. The concepts discussed are relatively simple and intuitive. As you study each chapter, I suggest you try to grasp not only how things work, but why things work. You are encouraged to use this text as a handbook for materials and exercises and questions to think about. As you move through the three levels of competency, I know I can do and I can adapt to new situations. So this lecture is based around this textbook divided into 14 chapters, introduces some basic concepts, features, and scopes about project management. In terms of learning objectives, today we study these topics, understand why project management PM is crucial in today's world, distinguish a project from routine work or programs, identify the different stages of a project life cycle, describe how agile PM is differentiated from traditional PM, understand that managing projects involves balancing the technical and social cultural dimensions of the project, and understand management and the role of managers. We will conclude this session with some exercises, quizzes, and uh, reflection questions. With the textbook, these four subjects are the chapter outline. What is a project? Current drivers of project management. Agile project management. Project management today and some of the trends. A social technical approach. What is a project? Please take a look at uh, these five uh, sentences and see what do those headlines have in common. For example, Super Bowl halftime show, citywide Wi-Fi system, wind farm, Apple's new iPhone, and city receives a stimulus funds to expand light rail system. So the answer is, all of these are big events, but represent big projects. This indicates what the project is about. According to Project Management Institute, project is a temporary endeavor undertaken to create a unique product or services or a result. So like most organizational effort, the major goal of a project is to satisfy a customer's need. Beyond this, the fundamental similarities, the characteristic of a project help differentiate it from other endeavors of the organization. The major characteristics of a project are as follows as listed here. They tend to have an established objective with a defined lifespan with a beginning and an end. And they usually involve several departments and professionals work together. 
This is quite significant. Unlike much organizational work that is segmented according to functional speciality, projects typically require the combined efforts of a variety of specialists. Instead of working in separate offices and separate managers, project participants, whether they be engineers, financial analysts, marketing professionals, or quality control specialists, work closely together under the guidance of a project manager to complete a project. Typically, doing something that has never been done before. And specifically, it has a time to start and end. It has a special cost and also performance requirements and measurements. So this is a snapshot uh, about the Project Management Institute, PMI. It was founded in 1969 as an international society for project managers. Today, PMI has members from more than 125 countries and more than 270,000 members. PMI professionals come from virtually every major industries across the world, including aerospace, automotive, business management, construction, engineering, financial services, information technology, pharmaceuticals, healthcare, and telecommunications. PMI provides a certification as a project management professional called the PMP. So not only Project Management Institute widely recognized, there are also international project management associations and its constituent national associations. For example, APM is an association for project management in the UK. AIPM is the Australian Institute of Project Management. Examples of projects given to recent college graduates, for example, business information, physical education, marketing, chemistry, management, uh, sport communication, systems engineers, accounting, public health, and English. Project management has a very processed uh, procedure with different steps. It is accomplished, project management is com accomplished through the application and integration of the 42 logically grouped project management processes, comprising the five process groups, including initiating, planning, executing, monitoring and controlling, and closing. Project management is not the same to programs. Programs are defined as a group of related projects designed to accomplish a common goal over an extended period of time. Project management, therefore, is a process of managing a group of ongoing, interdependent, related projects in a coordinated way to achieve strategic objectives. Examples, projects can be completion of a required course in project management. However, program can be a completion of all courses required for business study. So comparison of routine work with projects could be done as well. Projects should not be confused with everyday work. A project is not routine, repetitive. It, ordinary daily work typically requires doing the same or similar work over and over. Well, project is done only once. A new product or service exists when the project is completed. In this table, that comp compares routine repetitive work and projects shows the differences uh, in these two uh, types of work. It's very important because very often resources can be used up on daily operations, which may not contribute to longer range organizational strategies that require innovative new products. In practice, 
the terms project and program cause confusion. They are often used synonymously. A program fundamentally is a group of related projects designed to accomplish a common goal over an extended period of time. Each project within a program has a project manager. The major differences lie in scale and time span. Program management is the process of managing a group of ongoing interdependent related projects. An example, a pharmaceutical organization could have a program for curing cancer. The cancer program includes and coordinates all cancer projects that continue over an extended time horizon. Coordinating all cancer projects under the oversight of a cancer team provides benefits not available from managing them individually. This cancer team also oversees the selection and prioritizing of cancer projects that are included in the special cancer portfolio. Also, each project retains its own goals and scope. The project manager and team are also motivated by the higher program goal. Program goals are closely related to broad strategic organization goals. Another way of illustrating the unique nature of project work is in terms of the project life cycle, as illustrated in this diagram. The life cycle recognizes that projects have a limited lifespan and that there are predictable changes in level of effort and focus over the life of the project. This is very much like a product life cycle model. There are a number of different life cycle models in project management literature. Many are unique to a specific industry or type of project. For example, a new software's development project may consist of five phases, definition, design, code, integration or test, and maintenance. As shown in this diagram, a typical project life cycle passes sequentially through four stages, defining, planning, executing, and delivering. The starting point begins the moment the project is given the goal ahead. Project effort starts slowly, builds to a peak, and then declines to delivery of the project to the customer. Here are some examples of big projects in real world scenario executed by some big company, companies, including different types of industries. For example, General Motors project, Chevrolet Vault, Korea Midland Power Company project, world's largest tidal turbine farm, Motorola's project, Google Android smartphones, Warner Brothers project, Harry Potter, and the Dice Hollows part one and two. Human Economic Science project, Bensita, is a drug uh, uh, developed by the company. So this chart uh, shows another example, very contemporary. This is the Tesla's life cycle in alignment with uh, General Motors life cycle. The first is at the growth stage, and the later GM cars have passed maturity stage and is seemingly moving into declining stage. Unless GM conducts some significant uh, recalibration, uh, the company's product might not um, um, uh, might not avoid to fall into the final stage of its like life cycle decline. So the challenge of project management, the project manager uh, should be very uh, important figure in project manager management. It uh, manager should manage temporary non-repetitive activities and frequently act independently of the formal organization and marshals resources for the project is directly connected to the customers, uh, understand the customer's need without uh, uh, much intermediary. Work with a diverse uh, trope of characters and stakeholder internally and externally. 
provides direction, coordination, and integration to the project team. Manager is also responsible for performance and the success of the work project. Must induce the right people at the right time to address the right issue and make the right decisions. This is a illustration of the importance of project management and the manager's task. So there are various uh, tasks project managers need to work on and also need many skills project managers need to be good at. Uh, this diagram illustrates the steps in managing a project from a defined project to develop solution options, then move into plan the project and execute, execute the plan and to monitor and control the progress and finally close the project. Each step contains many different tasks and the, uh, smaller sub procedures. Even close project is not the end of the project. There are many things need to be done during the closing stage, including, for example, what was done well, what should be improved, and how those could be measured, and what else can they learn from this project. The evolution of project management is illustrated here as well. As project growing uh, exponentially, uh, in modern world, as uh, companies getting bigger and bigger and more and more complex, project management uh, is evolving rapidly. In 1917, Gantt chart, which is widely used in project management, is invented by project management pioneer Henry Gantt. It provides a visual schedule that helps to plan, manage, and track specific tasks in a project. We will study how to use this tool in our future uh, lessons. CPM is developed in 1957. It is called the Critical Path Method, CPM, which is invented by the DuPont Corporation. We will study this uh, technique in our future lessons as well. This is, is an algorithm for scheduling a set of project activities. 1969 PMI is launched to promote the project management professional, profession. 1986 Scrum, I say RUM, is named as a project management style. It is an agile software model that encourages close collaboration of team members. 1989 Prince Method derived from a property is published by the UK government agency CCTA and becomes the UK standard for all government information projects. 2006 TCM total cost management framework is released by AACE. It is the first integrated process or methodology for portfolio program and project management. So current drivers of project management. Project management is no longer a special need management. It is rapidly becoming a standard way of doing business. See snapshot from practice, project management in action 2009 in the textbook. An increasing percentage of the typical firm's effort is being devoted to projects. The future promises an increase in the importance and the role of projects in contributing to the strategic direction of organizations. Several reasons why this is the case are briefly listed here. For example, completion of the product life cycle, significantly driving forces behind the demand for project management. It is shorten of the project life cycle in the business world that is driving the increased need in project management, as we see in the Tesla and GM case. Uh, knowledge exploration. This growth is new. Knowledge has increased 
the complexity of projects because projects encompasses the latest advances. For example, building a, ro a road 30 years ago was a somewhat simple process. Today, each area has increased in complexity, including materials, specifications, codes, aesthetics, equipment, technology, human resource management, and so on, which require a lot of specialists. Triple bottom line means planet, people, profit. Warming in the global warming has brought sustainable business practice to the forefront. Businesses can no longer simply focus on maximizing profit to the detriment of the environment and society. Efforts to reduce carbon imprint and utilize renewable resources are realized through effective project management. Increased customer focus, increased competition has placed a premier on customer satisfaction. Customers are no longer simply settle for generic products and services. They want to customize products and services that cater to their specific needs. This mandate requires a much closer working relationship between the provider and the receiver. Uh, finally, small projects represent big problems. The velocity of change required to remain competitive or simply keep up has created an organizational climate in which hundreds of projects are implemented concurrently. This climate has created a multi-project environment and a plethora of new problems. Sharing and prioritizing resources across a portfolio of projects is a major challenge for senior management. Small projects can represent hidden costs now measured in the accounting system. So in summary, there are a variety of environmental forces interacting in today's business world that contribute to the increased demand for good project management across all industries and sectors. Project management appears to be in ideally suited for business environment, requiring accountability, flexibility, innovation speed, and continuous improvement. Agile project. Agile project management is a methodology more emerged out of frustration with using traditional project management processes to develop software. It is now being used across many industries to manage projects with high levels of uncertainty. Employees employ it employs an incremental interactive process sometimes referred to as a rolling wave approach to complete projects. It focuses on active collaboration between project and the customer representatives, breaking projects into small functional pieces and adapting to changing requirements. It is often used upfront in the defining phrase to establish specifications and requirements, and then traditional methods are used to plan, execute, and close the project. It works best in small teams of four to eight members. In terms of the rolling wave planning model, it is a strategic project management technique where teams work within smaller waves or time periods to accommodate expected project changes. Teams start with the available information and define the work, deliverables, tasks, and budgets per the project scope. They work interactively and set goals and the project milestones as they move forward to obtain more clarity. Rolling wave planning is agile, lets teams focus on short-term objectives with deliverable uh, measurables um, with the bigger picture in mind. The project keeps moving ahead in smaller way while planning for the next wave to happen in the background. Project management today uh, is in a very highly competitive global business environment. Competing in global market influenced by rapid change, innovation, technological advancement, consumer uh, behavior change, and time to market means organizations manage more and more projects. Some means for coordinating and managing projects in this changing environment is needed. Centralization of project management process and practice has been the practical outcomes. For example, Dell, IBM, HP, and Intel all have over 1,000 projects being implemented concurrently every day of the year across borders and different cultures. So how do these organizations oversee the management of all these projects? 
how were these projects selected? How do they ensure performance to measurements and uh, accountability? These are questions project managers need to ask. And uh, centralization entails integration of all projects, process, and practice to improve projects. Mm. So the project management has two dimensions. The technical dimensions can be referred to as the science, consists of the formal, disciplined, purely logical part of the process, including, for example, planning, scheduling, and controlling project. On the other hand, project uh, management today also encompasses the social cultural dimensions, which is uh, termed the act, the art, mm, involves the contradictory and paradoxical world of implementation centers on creating a temporary social systems, social system within a larger organizational environment that combines the talents of a divergent set of professionals working to complete the project. Since projects are the modules operandi, strategic alignment of projects is of major importance to conserving an effective use of organizational resources. Selection criteria need to ensure each project is prioritized and contributes to strategic goals. Anything less is a waste of scarce organizational resources, people, capital, equipment, and ensuring alignment requires a selection process that is systematic, open, consistent, and balanced. All of the projects selected become part of the project portfolio that balances the total risk for the organization. Management of the project portfolio ensures that only the most valuable projects are approved and managed across the entire organization. Uh, technical innovation and economic growth are closely related and can be articulated within the concept of cycles or waves. Each wave represents a diffusion phase of a series of technical uh, innovations, uh, creating entirely new economic sectors and opportunities for investments and growth. Since the beginning of the Industrial Revolution in the late 18th century, six waves have been identified. The first one uh, is uh, leaned on innovations such as water, power, textile, and iron. The second one involved the massive application of coal as an energy source, mainly through the steam engines. The third one, electrification, was a major economic change as it permitted the usage of a variety of machines and appliances. The post-World War II period represented significant industrial changes with new materials such as plastics and new sectors such as electronics. The so fifth wave, the development of information systems substantially improved the transactional environment with new communication methods and more efficient forms of management of production and distribution systems called logistics. The sixth wave, the key technologies that are likely to be the driver of the six waves are already in place and mainly include robotics, automation, digitalization, uh, AI, and sustainability. Digitalization implies a high level of uh, information technologies in goods and services, as well as for their management and operations. The sixth wave has also been labeled as the fourth industrial revolution. Since projects are the modules operators, so uh, to understand the project management, uh, we need to be clear what management encompasses. There are many definitions of management, but they do not run contrary to one another significantly. Management is the sum total of all those activities that determine objectives, plans, policies, and programs. Managing scarcity of resources, including four types, human resources, physical resources, financial resources, and information resources. In modern year, we also take into account uh, technology resources as one of the key type. 
that are managing element needed to consider. Put all these resources into operations through sound, rational, uh, efficient uh, organization. Those people who manage these resources are managers. Managers are those who coordinate and oversees the work of other people in order to accomplish organizational goals. They also implement change uh, inside an organization. And uh, in the modern year, change na changing nature of organizations and work has blurred the clear lines of distinction between managers and non-managerial employees. Uh, in terms of efficiency and effectiveness in management. These are two fundamental concepts in management that are often used interchangeably, but they have uh, distinct meanings. Uh, effectiveness uh, refers to the extent to which goals and objectives are achieved. It is uh, about doing the right things and achieving the desired uh, outcomes. In essence, Effectiveness is about accomplishing the intended results. For example, a company is considered effective if it meets its sell targets, satisfies customer needs, and achieves its strategic objectives. On the other hand, efficiency uh, is about doing things right and utilizing resources optimally to achieve desired results. It focuses on minimizing waste, reducing cost, and maximizing output and profitability with the available resources. Efficiency involves accomplishing tasks with minimal time, effort, or resources. For instance, a manufacturing plant is considered efficient if it produces a high volume of goods using fewer raw materials, labor, and energy. A manager's primary challenge is to solve pro uh, problems uh, creatively while drawing from a variety of academic uh, disciplines and then to help managers respond to the challenge of creative problem solving. Principles of management have long been categorized into the four major functions of planning, organizing, leading, coordinating, and controlling. It's called a POLC framework. The four functions summarized in this POLC figure are actually highly integrated when carried out in the day-to-day -day reality of running an organization. Therefore, you should not get caught up in trying to analyze and understand a complete, clear rationale for categorizing skills and practices that can, can compose the whole of the POLC framework. Managers have evolved from traditional hierarchical figures to more dynamic leaders. The modern manager not only directs, but also co collaborates, encourages innovation, and fosters a supportive work environment. The role has shifted from mere supervision to mentorship and the facilitation of a team success. So management roles are three categories, interpersonal, informational, and decisional. MinzTech is a very, very renowned management theorist and developed many management-related theories and concepts. According to him, managers take on different roles, which are organized sets of behaviors. Minzberger identified 10 common roles that all managers perform. These roles are divided into three groups, as we mentioned earlier, interpersonal, informational, and decisional. Interpersonal roles involve interaction with others. They ensure that information is shared and relationships are maintained. Informational roles involve gathering, processing, and sharing information. They connect all aspects of managerial work. Decisional roles involve making choice, 
based on information. They are crucial for effective decision making. Managers are responsible for getting work done through others. This involves four key functions, planning, organizing, leading, and controlling. These functions have evolved over time, reflecting changes in management styles and organizational structure. So in summary, there are powerful environmental forces contributing to the rapid expansion of project management approaches to business problems and opportunities. A project is defined as a non-routine, one-time effort limited by time, resource, and performance specifications designed to meet customer needs. One of the distinguishing characteristics of project management is that it has both a beginning and an end, and typically consists of four phases, defining, planning, executing, and closing. Effective project management begins with uh, selecting and uh, prioritizing projects that support the firm's mission and strategy. Successful implementation requires both technical and social skills. Project managers have to plan, control, uh, managing, and coordinating, as well as budgeting projects uh, and orchestrate the contribution of others. So that's it for today, first lesson of project management. There is one activity, if it's in a class situation, that you can organize students to work on this activity in groups or on individual. So it is about a project management institute's research. Student can go to the web, surf the website and look for some vital information and get explore some uh, related links on this website and understand um, what the institution is about and uh, what uh, project management could uh, evolve and relates to this institution. The key terms are listed here, including Agile project management, program versus project, project life cycle, project management professionals, as well as some basic concepts like managers, managerial roles, and so on. Here are some review questions that you can work on on your own or with students. There is also a quiz that students can work on in class or as a homework. Each chapter, we will have one chapter related quiz that can be used to, to enrich a classroom learning experience. There is also reading an independent study. I hope uh, students can uh, take time to read this book and understand uh, uh, in greater details what this chapter is about. Thank you for your listening. I hope you enjoy it and looking forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.